Hey Quinn, this is very interesting for me too. I think it's very interesting that you said evolution. It's not about religion. It's not about God. It's not about that. It's about using those things to facilitate a political ideology. Evolution. We're using the ideas that we have to create an ideology that we then turn into a culture by putting it into action. We create a story and then we turn that story we, we, we turn that story into a physical reality and that's our culture and that was in a book written by someone named Daniel Quinn Ishmael that was an inspirational passage that hit me culture uh, that's not why I wanted to make this I didn't want to talk about that but it, essentially you did say one thing that you thought uh, religion politics wasn't co-opted by religion but that religion has been co-opted by politics, that it was the other way around, and that, that politics has kind of taken religion and, and used it. But I think that it's religion was politics for so long, I'm, in what they call the Dark Ages, in the Middle Ages, like, you know, the king was God, even in like the Egyptian time, I mean, it was the same thing, there was no other than the spiritual society where the leader was God, or the, the manifestation of God. And all the other people essentially suffered, except for maybe like family or the people just around the, the god king. And in the Middle Ages, the king was like, uh, what the hell is that called when it's like something rule? Not deity. Well, there's the hereditary rule, but then there's the uh, divine, divine something, divine inspiration divine leader divine right that's it divine right so they had the right to be the king because they were chosen by god that's that's like the, the history of religion is like politics and then and then as it got old as we got older as a human race we and and we're exploring things more and more and we're like oh the earth's not flat oh the sun is round we're spinning around the sun there's more to the universe, there's other planets. We're like, whoa, wait a minute. So, the sun's not everything. The earth's not everything. There's, there's the other. I, I, I started to get a little hung up in my mind just then. We, as we came through this, this is difficult for me to ma maneuver religion. We, we decided to split it up into religion and politics, and politics became something separate where we voted, what, like militaristic in the 1600s, the king? At that point, were they still like the son of God or were they still like divine right? I don't know. I never really studied religion because I didn't go to church. I went to church a few times when I was young, and one time I went to a Catholic church, an outdoor Catholic church, and I got stung by a bee. It was horrible. I went to a church camp, and it was the most awkward, awful. This, my mom sent me there, and there were these other, with the other kids in fifth grade, Camp Carl, and this camp counselor took me in and sat me down on the bed and opened up the Bible and asked me if I had ever been baptized. I said no. I think he asked me. He said he was going to baptize me. I said, okay, and I was really weirded out. And he was reading something out of the Bible, and then he said, so now you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Say that, you, say that you believe Jesus is the Son of God. Say that you take Jesus into your heart. And I was like, I, I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I accept Jesus. He said, there, now you're baptized. And he gave me a Bible. And I think it had my name in it on the front cover. And I felt so weird. I felt so coerced, so manipulated. I peed the bed at that camp. And my friends there, Sean Keel and Adam Brashwitz, were laughing and making fun of me, but it just didn't sit well. That camp, it just something about it made me nervous. And now, looking back on it, I see much more clearly that, that forced ideology, any kind of forced ideology where they're telling you, say this, that's weird. You shouldn't have to say anything. Even the Pledge of Allegiance in school. So, like, it, it's a politics. It's still like a religion. 
We fucking worship the president and the, and the dollar bill. They say the church and state is separate, but now religion is, is fading out of, away from the Bible, kind of, into the money. Or it's always, it's like started to mesh in God we trust. I saw a quarter just recently, and on the front of the quarter is George Washington's face, says United States of America. It does not say in God we trust. I looked on the back. It does not say in God we trust. Then, I, I said that to my friend at work, and she said, it's on the side. And I looked on, around the edge of the quarter, and it said in God we trust. Oh, it was like God was falling off the money. And it was good, I thought. Separate it. Get it as separate as possible. But still, like the Pledge of Allegiance... Politics and religion, we, we, have this cult, we have this cult following of a president. We put a person in the middle, and then everyone stands around this person, looks at him, and reveres him or her, and just is like, oh, oh. Religion, politics, we have got to be able to question and say what we think from a young, young, young age. Children have got to be nurtured not told what to say, asked what they think, told to be open what they feel. Um, great video. I like that you called it revolution, but also you called it evolution. Those two words have very deep meaning to me. See you, Quinn. See you, Quinn.